Hello, it's Alex, and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm bringing you another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women, and today I'm going to be talking about Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom was originally published in 1988. It is a vampire novel, and an excellent vampire novel at that. The story follows a character called Angelina. She has always been a bit of a lonely child, never really had any friends, and when she becomes a teenager she has the opportunity to leave home and she decides to start a life on the road. She just travels from place to place and she recreates herself as a vampire. The story is told from Angelina's perspective, but at the end of each chapter we get to hear from another character involved in the story in some way or another. I really liked this format because it gave us a different perspective and some more information about Angelina. And as the story goes on and we hear from these other perspectives, we figure out that she might be something of an unreliable narrator. So Angelina hitchhikes around the country, she stays in various places and then moves along. She meets a wide variety of people, some of them end up falling victim to Angelina, and at other times Angelina is the one who becomes the victim to certain people and situations. As the story continues, Angelina tries from time to time to stop her vampiric ways, but she struggles with that and instead her need for blood grows stronger and develops more and more. A couple of other elements to the story that I wanted to mention. One is that there is a voice that Angelina hears. It's the voice of a woman who is encouraging her to fulfill her vampiric desires and Angelina really believes that when she kills people she's doing it out of love and putting them at peace. And the other element I wanted to mention is a character called Boyd who she meets at some point in her travels and they form a relationship which continues throughout the rest of the story. I won't say exactly how it pans out, you'll have to find out for yourself. So while there are some vampire tropes within this story, there are also some really unique elements too, and I think it made for a really great combination. I really enjoyed this one, I rated it 4 stars out of 5. It's a book I have been wanting to read for quite a while, I read When Darkness Loves Us by the same author, which was excellent, and I've been wanting to get a copy of Black Ambrosia, but it was out of print and really hard to find. And just recently, Valancourt Books reissued it, so I was able to get my hands on this copy, which also has an introduction by Grady Hendrix. Not sponsored, but shouting them out because I'm, yeah, really glad that they reissued this particular title because it's one I've been wanting to read for a really long time and it definitely didn't disappoint. I really enjoyed her writing style, it is very engaging and compelling and the characters are all very interesting in their own unique ways and the situations that Angelina finds herself in are varied and keep the story interesting. Angelina herself is a very fascinating character. The fact that she's not a typical vampire as we have read about a hundred times and it becomes a question of has she always been a vampire? Is it just something she was born with perhaps? Or is it maybe something psychological and this is what is driving her to do these things? Angelina's vampire is a combination of things. She is a little girl lost she is a romantic and sensual and ethereal vampire. She's also a 
cold-hearted and violent vampire. There is some violence in here and some sexual content and some of it does involve children, just to give you a heads up on that. Something I thought of when reading about Angelina's description, she's described as a petite blonde and I thought of the character May in the film Near Dark. This is a vampire film from 1987 directed by Catherine Bigelow and not saying there's a big similarity between the stories but there were just a couple of elements that made me think of it in the description of Angelina somewhat and the fact that Near Dark follows a group of vampires that kind of travel around the country just more in the sense of if you've liked one you should go check out the other because I think you would like that too. This is an excellent vampire novel, I thoroughly enjoyed it, the ending was fantastic and I definitely recommend checking it out. So those were my thoughts on Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. If you couldn't tell I have a cold at the moment so I'm feeling a little rough around the edges but thank you for bearing with me. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!